Hello and welcome to World of Tanks. Silver is here being barely adequate with Churchill 3. Churchill 3, if you didn't know, is a um, premium tank. It's a tier 5 premium tank with premium matchmaking, you could call it. Where it only ever faces tier 6 enemies. Um, it is a, a version of the Churchill 1, the British tank, uh, and one could, wouldn't argue that this is a very, very good tank. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a very good tank. Um, also, uh, of notice here is that it does not have access to high explosive shells, it only gets basic uh, armor piercing shells and it does get the um, APCR for, as premium rounds. But I'm playing it because, well, sometimes you need to make credits and sometimes you need you just want to play something different, something else. I can't even remember if this was a gift tank uh, from a uh, from a, a friend, or if I bought this on my own. I might have bought this on on my own from some sale. That might be a thing. I did. All right. So Churchill uh, three. Churchill 3, uh, I have always, somehow, I have always been somewhat successful with this thing. I don't know why. I don't know why or how, but I have been somewhat successful with this, this, this vehicle. Even though it, it frankly, is not all that good. So, uh, the T-3485 is going out there and doing some good spotting and so forth. So I figure, alright, I'm gonna push... Um, even though I kind of like that previous position a bit better. Um, so, but I'm gonna push and then I, got, I get OI Experimental running right into me. So I need to change the angle of my push. And if the OI Experimental is gonna poke from that side, I'm gonna poke from this side. Um, and actually I'm gonna get the spotting on this uh, BDR. Hello there! And BDR puts a big meaty shell into me. Because that thing has a lot more damage per shot than this thing does. Um, this thing does uh, very little actual damage, and uh, but uh, it is a rapid-firing gun with a sort of okay penetration, considering it doesn't face Tire 7 uh, heavy tanks ever. It was just interesting to be fired at by an APCR shell there uh, by the... Uh, by the... By the BDR G1B, which is a uh, French heavy tank. Anyway, uh, this thing doesn't have an overly good gun depression, though, so you can't do that sort of things. And I was like, oh, all right, this thing doesn't have like any gun depression, so let's not go that way then. Let's uh, uh, follow this T3485 uh, across uh, through here. Now, what could I have done already differently? Uh, I could have tried and made the push in such a fashion as to not get shot by the BDR. I could definitely have done that. Uh, although that blind shot on the M44 was kind of nice. And uh, there is an M6 which really wants to be shot in the turret. Um, so I'm gonna do that. However, I should probably have burned my repair kit there earlier to not take any more shots from the M6, but no, he has something more dangerous to uh, worry about, like the OI Experimental. It's big, so of course there has to be danger, so of course you need to shoot that, right? Alright, alright, so, um... Now I, uh, uh, this, this decision I am not so sure about. To hang back here. I am exposed to too many tanks which just peek over there and I do not have the hit points to survive any of them. Anybody, even the Panzer 4H there, uh, just pushes over a little bit and shoots me and I die. So hanging back here, a bad idea overall. I should have pushed forward to these rocks in front of me to um, at least uh, force the enemies to then come a lot over if they wanted to shoot at me. Right? Yeah. So I lost a more majority of my hit points, I'm trying to play conservative here, but playing conservative doesn't mean playing in a very silly fashion like I was doing there. M4 still has full health, let's follow the M4. Frankly, I could have been more aggressive as well, I could have helped the uh, um, OI Experimental out further. I was afraid of dying, 
I probably shouldn't have been, because then there would be uh, two targets for enemies to shoot at. And, well, it would have been one of us. And here was uh, I was hoping the T-34S would, like, push out. But that wouldn't be happening anyway, considering how many targets there are. So at this point, I basically get uh, nothing done anymore in this particular game, considering how slow this vehicle is, and how far away they are. So I'm gonna pause this here for a moment and do a little bit of examination on the uh, minimap here. So I still think that I made the correct decision coming here with, uh, to back up uh, these folks. Um, however, my positioning here could have been better. So uh, I could have come around the uh, corner in such a fashion as to not eat the shot from the BDR. Uh, maybe just try and give him a track to shoot that. Uh, maybe just uh, try to spot him and not give him anything to shoot at. And then when I was hanging around back here, well, I could have gone forth with the OI experimental and, you know, help destroy the enemies once uh, the OI was blown up, or uh, let the OI blow the enemies up when I had been blown up, whichever one they would be shooting at. Uh, but, uh, in, I, I, and even if I had not done, uh, didn't do that, I should have pushed onto the rocks to force the Panzer for h to really push over if he wanted to kill me. Now he could, uh, all he had to do was peek and just splash a shell in my way, and I would probably have been absolutely destroyed there. So, uh, in general, this is a, uh, a fun vehicle, it is, uh, I, uh, I kind of like it, but um, I just did it no justice here in this particular uh, gameplay, like, at all. So, uh, let, let's let this finish here. There is one more SPG to go. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you folks another time with more World of Tanks. Gameplay.